particles are, um, sorry, it's called uh, the applicable curve, and the numerous books have been published about the uh, uh, theoretical uh, aspect in the uh, field of the uh, fractional differential equations. Some are interested to reduce the uh, fractional derivatives and fractional integrals and the generalization of, uh, of uh, uh, classical concept, uh, concept of uh, calculus. But uh, it is very controversial and so uh, it's very good. Actually, generally, this topic is very important in basic sciences and even in uh, engineering sciences. As the uh, uh, history for fractional differential equation, fractional calculus is a subject that has been considered for more than 300 years old, and uh, this idea. Uh, was created at the same time of the, 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 the classical calculus and the story of uh, fractional calculus uh, were developed uh, before the 20th century. And uh, for the first time, this topic was discussed between Leibniz and Hopital. Uh, and Hopital asked the Leibniz uh, opinion about the derivative of non integer order and zero order one half. And uh, Leibniz uh, the replied in uh, Reflecting that this leads to the contradiction, but uh, about the derivative of uh, an incorrect order. But uh, later on, it did have the visual results, and uh, so this was the first of the fractional uh, calculus. This uh, answer uh, of Leibniz uh, 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 motivated many to follow the topic of uh, fractional uh, calculus. Uh, for example, Euler in uh, 1730 uh, uh, said that for uh, integer n and uh, uh, for a function of x, uh, the uh, fraction d and p over dx n can be expressed as an algebraic form or. And uh, after that, uh, in 1772, Lagrange is uh, studying differential operator work uh, on the fractional calculus indirectly. And after that, in 1812, uh, Laplace defined a fraction of the derivative by integral and uh, uh, the first definition of the derivative of arbitrary order was introduced by Rothwell in 1890. The next one who introduced the derivative of arbitrary order uh, is Fourier in 1822 and uh, actually uh, he defined its fractional operator in terms of the integral representation and as we see it is the uh, p of order of uh, arbitrary order, the derivative of arbitrary order, and as you see, it is uh, represented in integral uh, five. Uh, actually, although many researchers presented uh, the concept of fractional operators, but the first one who used the uh, fractional uh, operator was uh, Abel in 1823, and uh, after that, uh, Liouville in 1832 was the first one who tried to solve the, the fractional differential equations. And uh, by, uh, he introduced the definitions of the function, uh, like transcendental functions. And uh, he introduced its uh, derivative. And after that, uh, he, uh, uh, he wrote the, this popular um, derivative of non integer order. Or actually, uh, when, when he said d minus p, f x became the integral of uh, p. Or, and after that, uh, Grandbon and Krog uh, tried to uniform the results of uh, um, Liouville, von Liouville, and uh, uh, they introduced the, the derivative and integral of uh, this name, von Liouville, the uh, fractional derivative. Uh, but because of the, some problem that uh, this uh, type of derivative um, has, it, it actually the uh, the one you with a uh, fractional derivative uh, has some problems. So in the twentieth uh, century, Kopelko tried to rewrite him, rewrite the one you with formula, and uh, uh, he introduced a derivative which is called Kopelko derivative. Fractional derivative and the uh, integrals uh, can be known as an uh, interpolation uh, operator. For example, in this uh, in, uh, in this sequence of n triple integral and uh, derivative, which are operators on function f, uh, the, the, the fractional uh, derivative of, of order, actually the derivative of arbitrary order, can be 
now as interpolation of various words. For example, the uh, derivative of arbitrary or of arbitrary order one one half uh, can be now between ft and dft over dt. And uh, for a fractional integral, um, if we uh, start with the one derivative, one, one integral, and after that second, and continuing this process, and and uh, changing the r in the area of integration, and finally we can receive uh, this uh, formula for this sequence of integration. This is the Cauchy formula. And uh, the fractional integral of arbitrary order, uh, like r prime is positive, uh, is defined uh, here with the generalization of this because the gamma function is a generalization of factorial function. And as you know, the gamma function, which is defined by this formula, uh, has this property, has this important property that the use of this property for generalization of the uh, elementary, uh, uh, this, this elementary. Um, formula of uh, sequence of the integral. Uh, now I uh, want to introduce some uh, actually uh, um, fractional uh, uh, derivative, uh, which is very popular in, uh, in fractional calculus. First of all, Gravel, the thing of uh, um, derivative is uh, derived by primary definition of derivative f prime t is limit f t plus h minus f t over h and uh, by uh, finding f zero and after that f years and uh, continuing this process we can derive this formula for uh, sequence of the derivative and uh, now again uh, we can uh, replace the uh, down function instead of factorial and generalize the uh, previous elementary formula and so we can get the ground uh, ground world uh, the thing of derivative by this formula. Another definition of the uh, uh, actually another formula for a uh, fractional derivative is Riemann uh, derivative a fractional derivative uh, for arbitrary order of well it is defined by this and uh, actually uh, this uh, this is the, um, this derivative uh, has some uh, problems. Uh, Actually, uh, the first problem uh, that uh, this derivative uh, has is that uh, for constant function, uh, this derivative is not constant. It's not zero, sorry. It's not zero, so uh, after that, uh, Kokoto, uh, by rewriting this uh, derivative, try to uh, uh, modify uh, this uh, formula for fractional derivative. This is the Kabuto fractional derivative, which is introduced in 1976. And uh, as you see uh, in this formula, uh, first we uh, get the uh, derivative, and after that we use of the uh, 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 integral. And so uh, this uh, called that, uh, uh, actually this, this uh, resolved the problem of the one uh, the fractional derivative. Uh, another uh, uh, problem uh, which Riemann uh, Leopold has is uh, about the uh, um, solution because uh, that's uh, the Riemann Leopold solution has uh, some uh, problems that, uh, about the boundary condition when we want to speak about the uh, singular uh, equation and fractional equation. So uh, this, this this derivative is not uh, good for uh, such uh, equations. Uh, this effect of uh, ground world uh, derivative and uh, uh, actually one little bit derivative uh, 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 denoted here. If we, uh, if, if, if you are going for, if you want to uh, to uh, calculate the derivative of f x one, as you see the we want to be fractional derivative and uh, ground world is in fractional derivative or the equation in terms of one variable. Uh, but the Kokoto fractional derivative is zero. So uh, we can say that it is very a good uh, uh, derivative for um, fractional calculus so far. For any order? For any, you mean you're taking one half, so it could be any order? Uh, 
of this one. You get that three times. Okay. Actually, it uh, just uh, no, it's, it's the one half. Uh, the, uh, the, the one by two. Imagine if, if uh, I said that uh, this is the, the defect of uh, Riemann U uh, formula that if I draw more the letting go. Because if these two types of the derivative is not uh, or not a zero for constant functions, but calculator is zero. You know? For my, I mean uh, for alpha other than one half. You yes. still get zero. You see the index on top one one half, so that that formula is like all point equals to one half. Yeah. So it's okay. not a generic form; it's only specific. Yeah, it's just oh, for yeah. for example, if instead of one half, uh, yeah, you can you can replace the another uh, fraction. Uh, right. Yeah. It's just you can have that. Uh, but there are some uh, relations between uh, these. Uh, um, Three formulas for fractional derivative, uh, for example, Riemann Liouville and the uh, integer order derivative, it can be uh, commuted like this. And uh, as you see, uh, dn or uh, dtn uh, with uh, Riemann Liouville, it can be uh, commuted. And uh, these uh, two order of derivative can be added to each other. And uh, another relation between the ground law letting curve and the Riemann Liouville fractional derivative. Uh, is that uh, actually it, it, these are for a uh, n minus one order differential uh, differentiated function on the specific uh, interval and if n the n's uh, order of uh, order derivative of f is uh, if it is integrated uh, so uh, the the fractional derivative one will be uh, it exists and it's equal to the Riemann, actually the ground, ground wall letting go. For example, if f is a continuous and df or dt is integrated, so uh, they all exist and they are identical. And uh, in this slide, we have the relation between Kapoto and one Liouville fractional derivative. And uh, for FKA, uh, if, if F, uh, FKA, it means that the um, co order of the uh, co order derivative of F, if it is zero for K uh, from zero to A minus one, so these two types of uh, derivative are uh, identical. Uh, there are another uh, relation between a uh, fractional integral and uh, fractional derivative. Uh, for example, here, uh, as you see in the uh, first one, uh, the uh, order of integral, uh, fractional integral can be commuted and uh, finally uh, they are, can be uh, added. And uh, this is the distribution uh, for uh, fractional uh, integral, and uh, this is the, uh, as you see, uh, uh, Actually, although the um, to derivative is the um, modified version of the one uh, uh, formula, but uh, uh, to derivative uh, does not have this uh, property, uh, but the one you has. So as you see, uh, this is uh, the to derivative, and uh, we can't uh, actually uh, uh, commute the order. But in the one we can uh, commute uh, the order. Under what condition the differential equation has solution? Is its solution or unique? Is unique? And uh, what uh, are the behavior and form of solution or solutions? And so, uh, actually, uh, uh, for uh, finding the different, for finding the, uh, the uh, solution for a typical differential equation or fractional differential equation, there are uh, many tools. Uh, for uh, finding uh, the um, solution, but uh, one of the important uh, uh, tools for uh, uh, proving uh, of a solution uh, for fractional differential equation is fixed point theorems. And uh, 
if we type of the fractional differential equation has a specific discontinuity uh, for the solution. Uh, in uh, 2001, uh, Bashir Ahmad considered this uh, uh, actually uh, computable uh, fractional differential equation and by, and by this uh, boundary conditions. And uh, actually, he uh, used all the discrete function for uh, converting the converting this uh, the fractional the differential equation to the integral equation. And after that, it uh, it's a, uh, a specific type of the fixed point theorems in the name uh, Kronowski fixed point theorem. Uh, he uh, proved that uh, this uh, integral equation has solution. So uh, he can conclude that the, that a, a fractional differential equation has solution. So the common uh, uh, way for finding the solution for fractional differential equation uh, is that uh, uh, first we uh, now we, we, we need to uh, transfer to convert the fractional differential equation to integral equation. And after that, with the appropriate fixed point theorem, uh, we should uh, uh, find the um, solution for that integral type uh, equation. Uh, actually, uh, mm, the, mm, this, this type of uh, equation, the fractional, the fractional the differential equation, has many applications, for example, in viscosity, simulating the viscosity and the and propagation and uh, uh, like speech uh, recognition, flowing mechan mechanics uh, in uh, shear stress at the uh, boundary layer and uh, demo uh, demographical modeling and dynamical system. For uh, finding the uh, fractional uh, differential equation, uh, actually, uh, since uh, 2015, uh, uh, some writers try to uh, uh, find a uh, solution for uh, such uh, uh, fractional differential equations. Uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, the function which is used here is uh, just singular. Actually, in that one point, uh, they are uh, singular. And uh, with this boundary condition, uh, they try to uh, solve the, the, this uh, type of uh, fractional differential equation. And as I said, uh, they uh, by green function, and uh, they uh, uh, converted this uh, fractional differential equation to integral e equation. And after that, by a fixed point theorem, they uh, find the uh, solution for that integral equation. Actually, uh, 2018, uh, other writers uh, uh, try to uh, find a um, solution for this uh, type of fractional differential equation. But, uh, but if the here is multi singular, and this, with this boundary condition, they uh, solve the uh, actually this uh, fractional differential equation. Motivated by this uh, 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 work, uh, we uh, Solve this differential, uh, this fractional differential equation when f is a uh, multi singular, and uh, with the under the this boundary condition uh, and at the, under the uh, actually the point wise defined uh, for this point wise defined equation, it seems that uh, for a, a subset of the, the interval, it is actually in, for, uh, for example, <coughs> between zero and one. If the measure of the uh, E complement is zero, this equation should be uh, home for uh, uh, this, this subset. Uh, actually, we, we, we can get, get uh, we can the uh, condition of uh, uh, previous work, which is done in uh, 2018, and uh, we uh, solved uh, the we uh, solved this fraction differential equation. Uh, uh, for finding the uh, solution for uh, integral equation, we uh, use of this demo. Uh, this demo is a, uh, actually a fixed point, uh, fixed point uh, theorem, uh, which is related to our uh, fractional differential equation. In this demo, first we, um, you know, we uh, converted our uh, fractional differential equation to this uh, integral equation. As you see, we use of green functions. 
algorithm functions to compare this algorithm function for converting uh, a fractional differential equation to an uh, integral equation. And after that, in this theorem, under this uh, uh, condition, uh, by using of the uh, above the this point theorem, we uh, form the uh, solution. Three more minutes, please. Three more minutes. Three more minutes, you have. Here is an example for our theorem. Uh, first, uh, we, uh, we define this fractional differential equation of the f one over 2. And uh, after that, uh, with that uh, fixed point theorem, uh, we uh, converted uh, this uh, fractional differential equation uh, to the integral equation by the real functions, and after that, uh, we find the solution for that. Because it, it actually should be the, uh, denoted in proof, so that's why I, I just made a uh, mini slide for proofing. I just uh, noted, uh, mentioned the condition for this example. This is the census with the actually submitted in a zillion.